Despite the evidence piling up against them, Tokyo continues its attempt to weasel its way out of admitting the fact that they forced thousands into slavery and death at the aforementioned wartime sites. A move that's further fueling Korea-Japan tensions. Connie Kim has more on Japan's continued quest to distort history. The Japanese leader says Korea has never objected to its foreign minister's claim that the expression forced to work in the English language translation of its statement to the World Heritage Committee does not mean forced labor. Speaking at a parliamentary meeting on Friday, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said the phrase forced to work in the English version of the statement was used to convey that some of the laborers were forced into conscription. Abe also said the Korean government made it clear that it'll not include Japan's statements in its compensation claims for Koreans forced into labor during Japan's colonial rule of Korea. After Tokyo's wartime industrial facilities were listed as UNESCO sites this weekend, Japanese Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida sparked tensions between Seoul and Tokyo by giving an ambiguous translation of its statement to its domestic audience. Korea's foreign minister, Yoon Byung-se, dismissed Kishida's comments, saying the English statement leaves no room for controversy and has been officially adopted by the World Heritage Committee. Yoon added there is no need to predict Japan's next move because it must submit a progress report by the end of 2017, which will be reviewed by the World Heritage Committee the following year. If Japan's progress is deemed unsatisfactory, the sites could be removed from the UNESCO list. Connie Kim, Arirang News.